Hey, hey, pal. Hey, can you hand me the bladed arcing trajectory force manipulator down there? The what? The bladed arcing trajectory. The one with the yellow handle. <laughs> Does that look like an arcing trajectory force manipulator to you? I don't know what that is. It's a screwdriver. Yeah, not to those of us in the field of janitorial ecology. <laughs> it's not a word. You sure about that? Why don't you just call it what it is in plain English? Are you trying to make me feel stupid? Oh, it's not my job to get you to understand me, pal. Some procedures such as samples procured by the phlebotomist, specimen bankings. What does that mean? Could you please repeat that in layman's terms? How the patients see you. Huh. Reese, take these to Dr. Shipman's office in endocrinology, stat. I don't know where his office is. I don't care. Just get them there. Oh, hey, do you know where Dr. Shipman's office is? Yeah, sure. How do I get there? Well, first, uh, you go to the stairs. Or you could use the elevator. Yeah, it's your choice. What? Look. I don't care which, just tell me the best way to get there. Follow me. Wait, does this mean the stairwell is best? Oh, no, no, it's your choice. Oh! So you're gonna wanna go up to the fifth floor. Or maybe you wanna go down to sub-basement three. Well, maybe neither. Don't you know? I'm trying to tell you, okay? Down the hall, on the left or on the right, there's a door. It's, it's marked private. Huh. Well, either way, you better get going. Well, this isn't helping. Were you even listening to me? And we're going to need to take Tommy's height, weight, and vitals. Can you tell me the difference in treatment between Group A and Group B? It's not that big a difference, really. The children in Group A will receive the estrogen treatment, and the children in Group B will receive the life therapy treatment. It's just what I say makes sense? Um, how the patients see you. Huh. I think I understand what Missy was talking about. Sorry, I, I just can't decide between a Medici or, or just a drip. By the way, what is a Medici? Hey, how about upgrading that to a double espresso? Huh? No, I think I'll, uh, no, what I think I'll think. I'll take the espresso. What do you have to lose? Well, it's too much caffeine. Look, buddy, she doesn't have all day. Order the espresso or move aside. Oh, what if the double espresso doesn't happen to suit me? Look, she's here to sell caffeine. Not listen to you vacillate. So, are you in or out? I think we need some more time. Sure, but just realize the clock is t -t -t ticking. What if the study fills up while we're talking? How the patients see you. Huh. <laughs> so, what'll it be? Sometimes it takes just a little perspective to change your whole outlook. Whether it's not getting the information you need, or hearing things in a language you don't understand, or simply not being given the space to make your own decision. Sure, walking a mile in someone else's shoes is better than only being in their shoes for just a few minutes. But we're a research hospital. We don't have that kind of budget. So, are you ready to go back in there? Yeah. It's so easy to forget that what feels so much like a job is really a point of contact. A chance to be a participant in an important decision. Make clarity out of confusion. Give answers to those with the heaviest of questions. And take a moment, just one moment more, can make all the difference in the world. to you by Seattle Children's.